Now that we've established that you can make a uniform electric field with charged parallel plates, a logical next step would be to see how a charged particle would move in such a field. Just as before, it's instructive to look at a parallel case in gravitation. Where, we have where have we encountered parallel gravitational fields? Near the surface of the Earth, the gravitational field is of the same strength, g, and pointing down. We know that the standard equations of kinematics apply to this case because there is a constant downward acceleration. Similarly, in a uniform electric field, a charged particle experiences a constant force no matter where it is, equals to QE, and thus a constant acceleration, A equals to QE over M. Thus, we can solve for the motion of a charged particle with any initial velocity by splitting the velocity in the direction of the electric field and perpendicular to it. Perpendicular to the electric field, the velocity of the particle is unchanged because there's no force acting in that direction. And therefore, the motion of the particle in that direction is simply um, S equals to Vt. The velocity parallel to the acceleration follows the kinematics equation uh, V equals to V0 plus At. And the motion is S equals to V0 T plus half At squared, which uh, you should know to be the standard kinematics equations. Taking it all together, the charged particle will move in a parabola, just as we've seen in projectile motion.